Welcome back to the show. It is my pleasure to welcome uh, with us today Katie and Diani. Thank you so much. And, and you run the Ting Su uh, food truck? Yes, yes sir. Yeah, we, uh, we opened up this year. And, uh, you know, all we have is Tinga. Uh, we're keeping it simple since we have a 6x12 trailer. So, you know, just keeping it simple, keeping the food really excellent. You know? and, and a great place you can, you can meet and sample this food is the uh, Chattanooga Food Truck and Craft Beer Festival. It's happening Saturday. Yes. And I believe it's from 12 uh, to 6. So yes, that you got yes, six sir. hours to stuff yourself if you like. Yes, sir. And uh, I know that uh, when you have a food truck, it's hard to say where you're going to be all the time because you, literally your, your kitchen is on wheels. <laughs> so when, when you're not at festivals, is there a usual place? that you will park your truck that we, they, they could find you on a regular basis? Uh, not at the moment, but we're planning to do uh, Miller Park and uh, try to be at the uh, Chestnut as well okay. uh, on Chestnut Street. Two good places yes, to look sir. for you. Now, Tinga, I know that you incorporate that into a lot of uh, what uh, dishes other people might normally recognize. Uh, what is it and, and how does it contribute to the food and the flavor? Okay, so Tinga is just chicken and it's, uh, it's, it's boiled chicken but it has other spices in it and then uh, it's, it's covered in a chipotle based sauce Yeah. and uh, you know you let it marinate overnight and then the next day it's, it's just delicious food and it's healthy as well you know yeah. it's not fried chicken or none of that. It sounds <laughs> things that you marinate overnight just really let that, that flavor seep into the food. Yeah. Now I, I see a lot of things that most people would recognize tostadas and bur burritos and things like that but what other offerings do you have that, that, that most people would recognize as being Mexican food with the, the addition of tinga? Uh, well this is the, like the most popular ones uh, we also have quesadillas and then uh, just a bowl of tinga, kind of like at Chipotle where you just get a bowl of uh, tinga, uh, of whatever meat, and then like rice, beans, uh, lettuce, uh, stuff like that. And we all, we always are heard, try, to, try new things, mm -hmm. try new things. This would be a great new thing to try yeah. and, and you might be one of those, is, that, is tinga one of those things that you might get an addiction for? Because I, I have some absolutely, seasonings out there that once, you, that once you try it you realize, you know, I think I have to live with this for the, for the rest of my exactly. life. Exactly. I had it one time and absolutely have to have it. <laughs> like it's so good. So um, what made you want to start a business like this? I mean it's a, there's a lot of work that goes into it. You, you've got to put together a whole kitchen on wheels. What was it your uh, the idea or your your brainstorming that, that got you here? Uh, I just thought that I just thought that there could have been you know there, there's nothing like this that I've seen at Chattanooga and uh, you know we also at a reasonable price, you know, because like the avocado, it, it comes with it. You don't pay an additional $2 for it. You <laughs> you know? Avocado, like you get a couple more bucks on there yeah, for that. Yeah, it, it includes it. So, you know, you're getting a bang for a buck. And uh, I wanted to start it because uh, I was doing trucking and I kind of got tired of that. I wanted yeah. to, you know, do something something local, something that had a little bit more more impact. You and know, you said like you just thinking. recently started. How recently? Yeah. A couple months ago. A couple this months is ago? This our first real year, like, yeah. setting up. And, and how are things going? Are you, is it, oh, is it? Awesome. Really? So far, yeah. Great. Um, I, I'm going to try to take my wife to this event, and we'll make sure that we, we find your truck, because yeah. I, I, I need another addiction in my life. <laughs> well, I, I, I really, really do. Sure. Um, so, so what, uh, the, the, you have tacos and things like that, the, the things that most people would recognize? Uh, not tacos, but just tostadas, burritos, uh, quesadillas, and then uh, I want to have nachos later on, right. uh, which will have the thing and then also some nacho cheese in okay. it, which is really good. For something like a mobile truck, it might be a little bit difficult. Do you have a web address? Do you have a, a phone number that people mm -hmm. could get a hold of you? How would how best to get a hold of you? Yes, if, sir. If, so it's uh, thingasu.com, uh, and then also our Facebook is thingasu as well. Uh, it's to use on there, and yeah. then our Instagram is the same way as well. Thank you so much for not only getting up so early in the morning, but, but bringing this wonderful food <laughs> thank in. Thank you for having uh, Katie me. Katie and Diani, thank yes, you sir. very, very much. And uh, we will see you at the uh, Chattanooga Food Truck and Craft Beer Festival yeah. coming up this Saturday. Thank awesome. you. We'll be right back with News 12.